Hello everyone. Today we're looking at this. Uh, no, this is not just a leather bag. This is in fact an Ameritech phone. Now, I don't actually know the model of this particular one. Um, all I know is that this is brand spanking new um, because the guy that I bought it off used to run a cell phone shop and um, he said this has never been connected. So, um, or, or at least it looks absolutely brand new. It's a, it's immaculate. The, the, the case is immaculate. Got a bit of dust there. Um, and um, he sold it to me for peanuts, actually, for about um, 10, 12 bucks, which I thought was a bargain. Uh, shipping, on the other hand, was um, a bit of a sting. So um, this is uh, one of only two phones that I own or, or that I know of that actually has um, the handset without any buttons. Um, that is just basically a, like your, your your fixed line home phone, I guess. Um, and um, in, in essence, what this is 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 almost like an office phone um, in a bag, I suppose. Um, th th this actually weighs very little. Um, I was actually surprised. Um, I don't remember it this weighing th this this little. Um, you got you could carry this, and and actually to give you some sort of idea how light this is. Um, a battery, a standard battery for the uh, for pretty much most of the the, the big phones these days, um, that that is probably a pound and a half. Um, this bag phone is lighter than one of these. In fact, this bag phone is lighter than these two old school Microtax. I got a, a Ford limited edition Ford DPC 500, not a 550, a 500, uh, and a 9800X uh, personal phone. Um, and both of these combined way more than this bag phone, believe it or not. Um, it, it's kind of difficult to fathom how um, how light this thing really is, actually. Um, really light, really light indeed. Um, so anyway, um, it's not really got much to it. It is literally one flap for the phone and um, a zipper for the power cord. Um, there ain't really much else. Uh, it's, it's, it's a no-frills phone, but I guess... Um, it, it, it does work, you know. So you you, you plug it in into your uh, into your car cigarette lighter with with that, and I got one of these that plugs uh, that plugs into the wall wall socket. Um, and uh, you got a, a pull out antenna here, little flexible thing, um, and you were good to go back in the day. Um, so let's see what this thing can do. So there we go. We have lift off. Um, fired up. So um, right off the bat, you can see that um, this has a nice orange display. This is actually what I call a calculator display uh, or, or a segment LED display because um, it, um, it, it don't got a dot matrix display like, uh, like for example, the, the 9800, uh, 9800X or, or some of the, the, the more pristine phones like... Uh, I don't know, like like uh, like a lot of the modern microtax, like the micro uh, microtax elite or the digital elite. Um, th this is a, a very simple display. So um, you got a function button, and presumably uh, you needed a manual for this because I don't know. Well, you presume you press function and then a button, and that would be um, function. M would probably be mute. I don't want to press function five because that's normally uh, that's normally the key for lock. Um, but I, I guess we'll never know because I don't actually have a manual for this. Um, so let's just see if we can try and. Uh, oh, this was assigned a number by the looks of it. Well, maybe it was a test phone then. I don't know, but uh, certainly this does not look used at all. I mean, it's super clean. It's not got any dust on it in the inside or anything. Um, there ain't really much else I can tell you about this. Um, it, it is quite a small phone, believe it or not. Um, for, for what it is, um, let me just try and see if I can undo these clips which hold this this guy in. So this is literally it. Um, turn this off quickly. Um, you got a power cord just there which you can unplug. Um, that's a full way by the looks of it. And you got two more, two more in there. Don't know what they're for, but, um, and on the sides, you got your connector for your, um, for your handset. 
and that's about it really what would be interesting to try actually maybe I should have tried this whilst uh, doing this video is seeing if a bag phone from another bag phone uh, is see, seeing if a handset from another bag phone actually plugs in and what you get because you're in effect duplicating the keypad and in the screen uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, what happens I might try that when I get the chance um, but this is pretty much all you got um, at the time so um, what is this this is a this is a W so that would be what late 90s I guess um, yeah maybe 98 99 something like that uh, without looking at my chart um, I wouldn't know for certain but um, certainly one of the smallest ones um, I own uh, compared to some of the big briefcase phones that I own, I, I've got some really big briefcase phones, uh, and I ain't talking little briefcase. I do mean suitcase almost type phones. Uh, so this is pretty pretty small for 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 uh, for what we had. Um, but uh, you know, it, it is it was state of the art at the time. Not so anymore, obviously. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, I'd be happy carrying this around because this is quite quite small and. Um, this is nimble you know you, you didn't really get um, any any uh, any uh, shoulder ache with uh, if you're carrying this around because this is quite quite um, light quite light indeed so um, there, there aren't really much much else I can tell you um, let me try and quickly plug this back in and um, try and see if I can find the menu um, so recall so this has done 148 minutes it's received but, uh, and that's about it so it, this is virtually almost new it's done 148 minutes that's about two hours and two hours and 28 minutes so two and a half hours it's been used um, not much when you consider that I mean just today I made a call and that one call was an hour and a quarter so um, I I'd probably do two hours on a cell phone every day easily nowadays uh, and that's just talking that ain't texting or data or any nonsense um, so but um, nice big keys um, I'm guessing that's the volume that be the volume for the, the handset which you can I don't know if y'all can hear that now what if so that would be how you change the volume of the ringer function and then the up and down um, clear that there ain't really much else I can show you. What does Recall 1 do? Nothing. Recall? No. Um, kids, don't try this at home. Dialing 999 uh, isn't a joke. Um, but seeing as there's no cell service here, um, it ain't going to dial out anyway. So um, we've just, just made in a note. Uh, and it says no service there. Um, and you get the... Uh, don't know if y'all can hear that the um, the sound of uh, no service standard Motorola stuff really um, and, and I do think this was made by Motorola um, but it's just bradged up as a Meritech um, I do have several other phones handheld devices that have a Meritech written on them but uh, they're the same as the Motorola's in essence uh, the shapes the same the model the serial numbers are all in the same format so um, I guess Motorola probably badged these up uh, and um, and um, sold them under a different name, you know. So anyway, um, that's enough of me talking. Uh, I'm afraid I can't really show you much else about this. So um, this is going to be a pretty quick video. Um, but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, comment and uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you got any problems with any cell phones or any questions, uh, give me a shout. I'll try and help as best as I can. Um, and uh, thanks for watching again.